Hey guys, how are you today? <laughs> happy to be speaking with you. I am, you know, I'm actually very happy to speak to both of you about this particular film because I think there's something very unique about dealing with as parents to an aut a boy with autism. That's not, that's a rare thing in, in, in horror, let alone movies in general. What was it like for you guys to kind of find the connection with the boy and finding the family unit here? Let's start with you. I guess, John, you want to start with you. Sure, yeah. Um, you know, Jacob Chase, our writer and director, um, his wife works very closely with uh, children on the spectrum. And so um, that's something that Jacob knows very well. It's a world that, that he's familiar with. And I think he wanted to find uh, a compassionate and a realistic way to bring that into a genre film, um, to play with the idea of um, the, the struggle to communicate and a family that's already on the brink of peril to suddenly find themselves dealing with this kind of outward uh, supernatural force suddenly coming in to kind of disrupt the family unit even further. Um, and when I read it, I, I thought the same thing that you did. I thought, wow, this isn't something that I think I've ever read or seen in a genre film before. Um, I thought it was so interesting and, and so sensitive and delicate the way that, that Jacob lovingly dealt with the material. Yeah, Gillian, you share, I mean, especially you, because you deal with what a lot of a lot of mothers deal with, very, you know, a father that's not always around and that kind of thing. What what did you do to prepare and find the connection with him? I really just thought about my mother, who was a single mother, um, and who I knew from the earliest age would do anything for me. Um, and I saw how hard my mom worked. Um, you know, working full time and, and taking care of me. And um, so I had that sort of firsthand, I'm not a parent, you know, I'm not a mother, I don't have a child, but I, I have a great mother who I watched, you know, really try her hardest um, for my whole childhood. So, wow. I don't know that means. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think that one of the things that, you know, for me, that what, make, what makes the film work is the detail. And he, you know, Jacob does go through a lot of detail and finding the, the truth behind autism, behind the story, behind the struggle. Did you guys do any research into it and finding, you know, what kind of speech therapies are available, anything like that? I guess, sorry, let's go back to you, Jill, Gillian, for this one. Go back to John. Um, you know, I Jacob, uh, as John said, um, provided us with resources. And so really it was amazing to be able to talk through everything with Jacob Chase. And I think he did a great job um, in preparing us for the film. What, are you guys both genre fans? Are you both, is this your type of movie? Your, you know, starting with you, John, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I love, you know, I, I definitely, um, I, I can feel my fandom almost kind of as the world gets scarier, my fandom for horror films almost wa is waning a little bit, but I've always really loved genre movies. I love sci-fi and horror and thriller and adventure. Grew up with them. They scared the living daylights out of me until I was finally kind of conquered my fear of them in high school. And then I just became obsessed and, you know, wanted this, you know, I've seen every John Carpenter movie. He's one of my absolute filmmaking heroes. So I love the opportunity to get to do uh, an exciting, you know, genre movie with that, a next wave filmmaker. That's always what's so exciting to me is to see somebody emerging and to kind of put their stamp on that tradition. Um, and I love the challenge as an actor to take something that's otherworldly and to try to make it feel really real to an audience. That's what I love to watch. So that's what I try to bring to it. And you did a nice job. And, and Gillian, you, I really love this performance. Uh, what what is your connection to horror? Do you like it? Do you or or do you shy away from it? I you know as we've been doing these interviews and people have been asking us about horror films, I'm really really John has seen everything and I've seen almost nothing. Um, <laughs> I come to it more from a selfish actor of wanting to be in different types of films. You know, so I feel like I have this impulse um, to be in different types of movies to not just do the same. You know thing that people expect me to do. So mm. I think um, that's what draws me to a project like this. I think I get too afraid to watch a lot. Um, I don't even like watching people fighting. Um, like the movie, The Fighter was almost too much for me to bear. Like, so um, I haven't seen as many horror films as John had, but I, I think like John, I recognize Jacob Chase as this 
really talented director and I wanted to work with him very much. He just wants a friend. Run! It's the, it's the 